Okay. Alright. So, this is part two. So, ini kita balik-balik ke basok line ni. Okay. Kita balik-balik ke basok line ni. 30 kilogram. Kita nak tukarkan dia jadi microgram. So, 30. Okay. 30 darab dengan 10 kuasa 3. Okay. Kita keluarkan kilo, kilo ni. Kita keluarkan, dia mesti 10 kuasa 3 kan? So, kita gantikan dengan 10 kuasa 3 gram. So, sekarang kita nak masukkan apa? Kita nak masukkan mikro. Okay. Kita nak masukkan mikro. Mikro tu tak ada tu, kita nak masukkan. So, dia kena bercanggah. Ha, so, menjadi 10 kuasa 6. Yang asalnya negatif 6 kan? So, sekarang kita kena canggah sebab tak ada. Kita nak masukkan mikro kat sini. Tu je. So, kalau you 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 nak expand ni balik kepada gram, apa yang you buat? Okay, you keluarkan mikro ni. So, apa yang dapat? 10 kuasa negatif 6 kan? Betul? So, you dapat balik 30 darab 10 kuasa 3 gram kan? Bukankah ni benda yang sama? Okey, boleh faham? Boleh faham? Eh? Okey. Boleh faham tak? <laughs> boleh tak? So, solid lagi. Okey. So kita teruskan. Kita nak 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 tu teruskan conversion dia tu. So 10 kuasa, kuasa 3. So kita nak masukkan micro ni. So kita kena canggah kan. So 10 kuasa 6 microgram. So dengan itu kita dapat berapa? 30 darab 10 kuasa 9 microgram. Boleh lagi? Simplify 3 darab 10 kuasa 10 microgram. Okay. So itulah jawapan dia. Okay. Ya. Yeah. I want to know why they got a negative uh, in a negative six up there. Which one? Uh, the gram negative. Um, we look what's the negative in um. You mean uh, you mean this one? Is this this one you are? Ah uh, yeah 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 yeah. Oh. yeah. Because you see, initially we are from here. We are from micro, right? Now if you remove the yeah. micro. So the micro is yeah. the micro is ten to the power negative six. If you want to review, remove the micro, you have to put in the micro here. Value the micro value is ten to the power negative six. Can understand? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is the situation because you have micro here. So you want to remove the micro from the gram. So you have to give it the value. Give the value. Okay. So the value is 10 to the power negative 6. Right? So uh, as I explained to you just now, if you have one microgram, if you want to remove the micro, you have to give the value for the micro. So the, mi the micro value is 10 to the power negative 6. So therefore you get one microgram equals to 1 multiply with 10 to the power negative 6 gram. So the 10 to the power negative 6 is the micro. Right, okay. So another example is if you have one gram, you want to convert it into microgram. So what can you do? You take one, multiply with 10 to the power six. You want to put in the micro. The micro initially is not there. You want to put in something that is not there. So you have to be opposite from the micro value, which is 10 to the power negative six. Right? So opposite become 10 to the power six. That's why you put 1 multiply 10 to the power 6 microgram. So you want to check whether this is correct or not. So now you try to remove micro here. Okay, try to remove micro. So the micro will be 10 to the power negative 6. So from here to here, you try to remove the micro. So the micro, you replace it with 10 to the power negative 6. And then if you, you see here, you can actually cancel out the micro. Okay, you can actually cancel out the, the value for these two. So you get back to one gram. So it's the same, right? It's the same thing. Okay, so it might be a bit confusing right now. As we go along, then you will understand why this is the case. So we go on for more example. 
um, let's say 0 0.001 okay meter we want to change it to uh, millimeter so how can we do it uh, we can write this into like this 10 to the power 1 2 3 negative 3 meter okay okay 10 to the power negative 3 meter and then now we want to convert it into millimeter so millimeter is not there but we want to put it in okay so we have to be different from millimeter so millimeter is 10 to the power 3 to be different than the opposite than the millimeter uh, than the milli is to 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 then only you get millimeter okay all right understand okay so how do you know that this is correct very simple you take out the millimeter take out the milli see whether it's, it's still correct okay take out the milli so now the milli if you take out it becomes 10 to the power 10 to the power negative 3 okay so you get back 10 to the power negative 3 meter which is the same you see you know <laughs> they are the same all right so we just continue our conversion all right so we just write 10 to the power negative 3 uh, multiply because because we want it to be in a millimeter we come 10 to the power 3 millimeter all right so the answer is one millimeter that is the answer all right so i hope this is clear any question other solar Tak ada soalan ah. Okay, kalau tak ada soalan kita akan teruskan conversion. So katakan sekarang you ada 50. 50 kilogram per hour. Right, you nak convert dia jadi meter over second. So what can you do? You take 50 kilogram per hour. One hour, okay? So 50 Kilo is what? Kilo is 10 to the power, 10 to the power, 3. Okay, 10 to the power positive 3. That's kilo. All right, that's kilo. So you take out the kilo, you put in 10 to the power 3 meter. Now, you want to change hour to second. Satu jam ada 60 minute. Satu minit ada 60 sakan, 60 second, okay, 60 saat. So satu jam bersama dengan 60 minit, harap dengan 60 saat, dapat saat, okay. So pengiraan dia, kalau you guna kalkulator, you kira, you akan dapat 13.89 meter over second. So ini adalah jawapan dia, okay. Alright, ada pertanyaan? So, kalau tak ada, kita teruskan. Okay. So, for E, let's say you have 5 Newton. You want to convert 5 Newton to kilogram meter over second square. Right. So, how can it be done? So, uh, 5 Newton is equal to 5 kilogram meter over second square. Uh, over second square. Okay. So, they are actually the same. No need to do any conversion because it's the same, right? Because F is equals to MA, right? So F is Newton, M is kilogram, uh, A is a acceleration force and acceleration uh, uh, speed, which is M to the power negative two. So if you multiply them together, you get this, okay? So they are the same thing. So again, I need more space. So I need to adjust for the space. Okay. All right. So I just proceed. We have another fifteen minutes left. Fifteen, seven, eighteen minutes. I think. All right. Okay. So. We try another example. F. Okay, let's say we have uh, one thousand. 
gram. You want to change it to kilogram. So what do we get? So it can be written as 10 to the power 3 gram equals to kilo. Kilo is, you see, if you look at kilo, kilo is 10 to the power 3. Okay, 10 to the power 3. Right? So uh, you want to put in something that is not there. Right? So it has to be opposite, negative 3. Okay, kilogram. All right, so the answer is one kilogram. Okay, does it make sense? All right, so I hope it makes sense to you. So we move on, have G. Okay, uh, G is uh, 20 per second. Okay, 20 per second. So it's going to change to uh, per hour. Okay, how can it be done? Very simple. Just write 20 over 1 second. So 20 would be uh, 1 second. Okay, so you know 1 hour has 60 minutes. 1 minute has 60 seconds. Right, so now you want to convert 1 second to hour. So what can you do? You take one second divided by 60 minutes divided by 60 seconds. Okay, so therefore you get hour. Yeah. You will get hour. Right? You will get hour. So it becomes 20 multiplied with 60 multiplied with 60 per hour. So the answer would be 7,000, 72,000 okay. per hour. All right. Okay. So go for more example. H. One kilogram. We want to convert it into eta gram. Uh, so this thing you will never encounter. This is a fictional uh, thing that I, I purposely created so that we can actually uh, explore and try to understand. So eta, what do you get eta? Eta is 10 to the power, 10 to the power 18, okay? Uh, 10 to the power 18. So you have one kilogram, you can change it into gram. One multiply, kilo is 10 to the power three, Right. You can change it for the uh, uh, eta. Eta is 10 to the power 18, right? Positive 18, right? Now you want to put in something that is not there. So it has to be opposite. 10 to the power negative 18. Eta, right. So what do you get? You get 10 to the power negative 15. Eta, right. That's the answer. All right. So we go for one more. One more. Okay. One more. You have 15 hour per meter. We want to change it to second over giga meter. Ah, giga meter. So, so weird. I mean, uh, some things like that, units like that, you will never encounter. But I purposely create, create this kind of weird unit. So that uh, you can see an in depth uh, different condition. Okay, so you have 50 hour per meter. Right, so 50, one hour, one hour you have 60 minutes, one minute you have 60 seconds. So, so 50 multiplied with 60 minutes, 60 seconds. So you get second. Right? So you have one meter here. Okay, it's one meter. So you know you want to change. Um, meter, you want to change meter to gigameter. So, you know, giga is what? What is giga? Giga is 10 to the power 9. Okay, 10 to the power 9. Okay, now you want to put in the giga, the giga is not there, right? So, if you put in something that is not there, it has to be opposite. All right, so you multiply with 10 to the power opposite, right? So it's negative nine. Okay. Is it nine? 
mesti giga je giga naik or what giga ta pita kera giga uh, Peta, Peta, Terra, Giga, Mega. Okay, correct. So, Giga is 9. Right? So, if you put something that's not there, you have to be go opposite. So, it has to be Giga Eater. So, we try to calculate this whole thing. What do you get? You get 1.8 multiply 10 to the power. How much? Let me see. 50. 50 multiply 60. Not. 50 multiply 60 multiply 60 over 10 to the power negative 9 1.8 14 power multiply with 10 to the power 14 all right so it is a uh, second over giga meter so so far any question ada pertanyaan Any question? No, not there. No, huh? okay. All right, good. Uh, pretty much that's it for the first class. I hope uh, you learned something out of it. Um, hmm. Just end the recording. Stop.